for you. Acting is reacting. Happy birthday, Becky. Happy Valentine's Day, Becky. Becky with the good hair. Hey there, hey guys, it's me, Skinny Queen Reacts. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hello, happy Thursday. Hello, hi, how you doing? Trippin', crab apples, be kind. Angel of Glass, Rosebud, Jamie Carpenter. Let's see, Nancy, Kelly NYC, good to see you all. Patty, hello. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Who's your mama? Thank you for coming. I I know this that Chantel done this vlog, what was it, a couple of days ago, or was it yesterday? I have not personally watched it. Um, I was in Dr. Phil's live yesterday, but only for the first half of um, Naked and Laughing. Hey, Violet Arcane, Deep Dark Petals, hello, welcome in. Hip Easter, Krista, good to see you all. Thank you for joining. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Hello, hello. So, um, I actually didn't see any of this. None of it. Not yet. Hey, Gemini Z girl. Gas Station Sushi, hello, hello. Maria, hello, welcome in. QZ. So this will be a first, like, I haven't even watched it on anybody's channel. I haven't been watching Foodie. I have not been watching reaction channels. I've just kind of been doing my own thing. Just, and it's kind of, <laughs> it's actually been nice. I missed you guys. Hello, Desiree. MTG Kitty, hello. I actually, like, just wanted a reason to come and hang out. I'm not even joking. Like, I wasn't even, like, mm, super enthusiastic about doing foodie today. But I also didn't have anything else prepared. <laughs> so, so, here we are. <laughs> hey, Rudy. Hello. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this vlog. You're lurking, finishing some work. Oh, good for you. Good for you, crab apples. All right, we'll get into this vlog. We'll see what everyday Miriam has to has to say about her vlog, and it's titled "Rainy Ramadan 2024 Vlog and Muslim Revert Problems." Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of problems have you been having, Foodie? I would I would truly, truly, truly like to know. Please do share. Please do share. Um, you're trying to make your puppy be good? Oh, what kind of puppy? My baby doggy is sleeping on her little... I created her a nook in the closet. So I took my closet doors off because they were like 70s style closet drawers that drawers doors that always fell off you know always falling off or getting I don't know they were just driving me insane so I said let's take these off and um now Luna has a little space there with a little bed and I think she really likes it Oh, West German Shepherd. Hey, Unicorn Blow. Hello. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's get into this reaction without further ado. Of course, Foodie's plug in the cameo. Want a personalized video from me to you that you can keep forever? Or maybe a special shout out? Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me no, on cameo gifts? No. no. Hey guys, so we're just gonna go out for a little bit. Hey, it's Cinnamon. Raining, though. Um, so yeah, just gonna go for a ride, maybe a walk if the rain eases up. Yellow. This is our lobby. Part of it, anyway. Back through there, there's a pool and a little gym. 
Okay, and how come you haven't been in that pool, ma'am? Is the pool outside? She says, back there. Well, where's back there? And how come you won't show us back there? Through there, there's a pool and a little gym. Mm. I'm waiting for Sala to go get the umbrella. <laughs> It doesn't rain often in Kuwait, but when it does, it's usually in the winter. Otherwise, in the summer, there's sandstorms. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. She's, um, honestly, I mean, I, I, I don't, uh, hey, Mushy, hello, welcome in, Linda Lou. hello, welcome in, everybody. Uh, you know, foodie, that just looks very, very, I know it's painful. Like, we know it's painful. It, and what are you doing to resolve it? That's what I want to know. Is that, you it just. <laughs> she's trying to walk with a smile on her face, but clearly Behind that smile, there's a lot of pain that she's trying to hide, too. The roads are flooded, big time. Flooding is pretty common whenever there's heavy rainfall here in Kuwait. why are we why are we we don't care i don't care i don't care to see a bunch of rain i really don't like this this is a common thing like with her vlogs driving around her city we've seen it all before we've seen the rain we've does she say anything interesting because i'm just fast forward I'm, no thanks there's nothing. We've already seen this. A gate or a camera and some water. Bismillah. All right. What is that? All right. Now I'm going to break the fast with a gate or a camera and some water. Bismillah. Hmm. What is it? A first bite. Is that a date? What does she call it? Kuwait rain, right, but <laughs> hey, Ramble on, hello, welcome in, everybody, good to see you, mmm, chili and cornbread tonight, that sounds good, yeah, I figured it was a date, she, she's trying to sound fancy saying it in Arabic, huh, mm-hmm, hey, lock dog, hello, welcome, welcome in, mouse toes, hello, <laughs> wow. Chantal, like your situation, especially with all the medical things you have going on, you're in dire need. You are in dire. Like this is an emergency, ma'am. It's an emergency. It's kind of raining pretty hard. It's not really the best weather to go for a nice walk. Wish I okay, I see one ad flow. Thank you. Georgia girl. <laughs> I agree. I don't think she broke a fa I don't think she's been fasting. If anything, it's just been um, fasting while sleeping. <laughs> I 
Hello guys, assalamu alaikum. I'm gonna have some water and talk to you guys about a subject while I take off my makeup. Do you want to say hi for the people? Hi. All right, so to remove my makeup, I'm using these Annabelle oil-free eye remover pads, which are great. So my mask will be here. All right, let me and let me so. put her up to 1.25. All right, now I want to talk to you guys about um, Islam. I'm a revert. Um, I took my Shahada last September. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so that makes her an expert. Remember... She just took it last September. So remember, guys, she's an expert. Hi, ain't she sweet? Welcome in. Yeah. Now, one thing I noticed since becoming a revert is um, the community can be very judgmental. I used to be Catholic, okay? And as a Catholic Christian, I literally never, ever had anyone, even like I was a public figure, right? I never had anyone, Christian or Catholic, preach to me about the rules of Catholicism and how I'm being a bad Christian or something like that. That's because you weren't following the religion. You said you were atheist. So why would they preach to you about Catholicism when you said that's how you were raised? What you said yourself, you did not believe in religion and you didn't find God until you went to Cuba. So there's that. But now as a revert, I find that the community, the Muslim community online, especially can be very judgmental. I get all the time people coming for me, like Islam police, like that's a siren. Anyway, things like the Haram police, you know, saying things like, um, I don't know, just commenting on like makeup. I see it happen to other people too. Like, you know, your hijab is not fully covering or this and that. Um, you shouldn't be saying this. You shouldn't be smoking shisha. You know, you should be eating with the left hand. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. Um, so I just want to say, go easy. Also, the difference is you were raised, you were born into Catholicism. It wasn't your choice. But... And you also, that wasn't vlogged from the start. This is something you chose to put on your channel. You chose to vlog it. You chose to vlog your journey into becoming a revert, which it, you should take very seriously. But it's something that you haven't taken seriously. You haven't shown online that you've taken this super serious. Um, you've decided to smoke smoke weed in a hijab very haram yes you've eaten products with that still are not halal while sitting in a hijab um you've you've cussed everybody out while sitting in a hijab i mean so there's there's a multitude of things oh also Let's not forget that your hubby, quote unquote, was talking to another Beezer. Well, you're all supposed to be these, I don't know, you you claim that you're religious. I, I He was talking to another Beezer while, while saying very inappropriate, vulgar things about somebody else's religion. Hey, House of Hannibal. Hello. Welcome in. Naughty the Squirrel. Hi. Um, there's, there's, there's a multitude of reasons, ma'am, why people haven't brought up your Catholicism versus your Muslim because you've chose to document this journey and, well, it hasn't been, you haven't uh, shown that you're serious about it. You've done everything. It's almost like, are you trying not to be Muslim while wearing the hijab? Because you've done so many 
things that are, for lack of a better term, sacrilegious, if you will. On, on people, like, not just that. Hey, yes. Like, let people hey, observe Gento their crown. religion, worship how they want to, and, like, at their own pace. Like, a person who's reverted, like, a year, year and a half ago, even, like, a few years ago, is not the same as somebody who's born into it, okay? Um, hey, Daniel. It's not up to somebody to judge someone because that's between them and Allah. Not, it's not between me and other sisters and brothers. It's up to between me and Allah. Okay. Um, okay. So here you are though, judging other people that you claim are judging you. Make that make sense. If it's not, you just said it. It's not up to others to judge. But here you are judging them, judging you. Because you know what? Yeah, I still have trouble with a lot of things. Um, music being one of them. You know, it's frowned upon to listen to music in Islam. Well, I'm have, I'm struggling with that part of it. Um, I'm struggling with a lot of things. Makeup, stuff like that. You know, smoking, shisha once in a while. Things that are frowned upon. Hey, but sure, that's yeah, between hey, me and Allah. And... The one thing you have to remember is you call it a struggle and it's almost two years later a struggle you know i could i could see struggling in the first six months or the first year it's been over a year since you've committed to this it's almost like you're trying to force yourself to do something that you don't want to do at all have no intention of doing at all and making a mockery of it along the way you make other muslim women look bad chantel when you come online and do these things you do you are not the good representation of a muslim revert at all what makes a muslim a, a kafir is a non-believer is somebody who doesn't pray at all, you know, or makes no effort. Um, even that is between that person and Allah. So a person who smokes shisha is still a Muslim in Allah's eyes. A person who wears makeup is still a Muslim. A person who um, drinks even is still a Muslim. I don't drink, but people who smoke weed is still a Muslim. You know, maybe lost or off the path, but it's still, but they're still Muslim. And you can't judge somebody's journey, you know, just by watching one of the videos. You don't know. What oh, yeah. Doing. You can still be labeled a Muslim. You're just not a practicing one. Just like people uh, claim that they're Catholic, but maybe they don't follow everything to a T or they're not following anything at all. They may still consider themselves Catholic, but if they're not doing everything they need to do, then they're just they're not they're not practicing so you're not a practicing muslim period struggling with um there's a lot of reverts who haven't even begun to wear the hijab yet they need to do it when they're comfortable the most important thing as a new muslim or as a muslim is to pray and repent so i'm just tired of like, you know what this feels like this feels like something happened on that little outing she went on a couple of days ago remember she said she was going on she was going somewhere. I have a feeling she was judged by other Muslims while she was out during Ramadan. That's that's where I think this may be coming from. Mm -hmm. It feels like she was. Being judged, you know. Um, I'm not perfect, but I do believe in God. And, you know, I love God. I'm just... I sometimes struggle with um, certain aspects of the religion, and that I'm I'm learning on my own. You know, I'm doing a lot of like I do research on it, um, read what it says in the Quran, um, but there's a lot of different things that I still struggle with, and I'm still learning on my own. And that's my journey. It's my right. I bet somebody told her about herself at the get together, the Ramadan get together the other day. <laughs> she probably done a lot of things even brought up that she was eating with the wrong hand I'm pretty sure 
somebody had a talking to her at that get together probably somebody who also spoke english um somebody may have said something i'm thinking yeah to do that so you know before rushing here islam police i don't need your sirens okay i got this on my own and i this is addressing like fellow sisters or other reverts like you know who just make like it's almost a deterrent to the religion from people being so judgmental in that community you know it's 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 overwhelming and and so i mean i'm not even addressing my critics on youtube are not even religious most of them or muslim and they come for me with the islam police i don't even care what they say they look like clowns um they look like clowns judging a muslim person when they know nothing about it so and they're not even muslim whatsoever <laughs> so but the fellow sisters like who get judged especially reverts we get judged hard right because or like laughed at i feel like we get ridiculed more yeah see she's talking about so she's talking about like some of us who are not muslim judging her reactors in reactors communities but then she gets into muslim sisters and this is where i think an actual <laughs> couple of muslim sisters got into her about what she should be doing and what she's not doing I just have that feeling from the the muslim community especially online and i've gotten some of that criticism and i've seen a lot of it too and i myself have been judgmental hey, like when i see somebody wearing tight clothing and i'm thinking that's not how it's supposed to be but then i like i catch myself and i think i don't like being judged i don't that's not my journey i'm not the one to judge i'm not god i'm not allah that's between him and all the other muslims you know that's up to them so um, people also have different people also have different ways of interpreting a religion, you know. So me, I just mostly am continuing to read the Quran and learning a lot that way uh, about the religion. And I, I realized maybe I should have done that a lot before actually taking the Shahada. But for me, it was like they ask you basically, like before reverting, do you believe in that there's one God? Yes, I can take that off. I do. Do you believe that? Um, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his is his messenger and slave, and I do, because personally for me, and don't this is just my belief. Everyone has their own, and you can believe what you want. I believe in the Islam, the the Muslim. I believe in the the, I believe the Muslim belief that Jesus was a prophet and he did perform miracles. Um, Ma'am, why are your eyeballs all bloodshot red? Is your sugar high again, or or were you hitting the vape before you came on? Because you got glassy, like, reddish eyes. Yeah, they look glassy. Given to him by God. But I don't believe that God has a son or had a son. And I don't believe that Jesus was God. Or crying too. That's that's, two that's a good up. Uh, yeah, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, they do kind of look like cry eyes. Um, I don't think she was openly welcomed at the event that she went to for Ramadan, and she never talked about it. Remember, she told us she was going somewhere, but she never brought it up. She never took pictures of the event. So either she didn't actually go to an event, but I do believe that whether um, she went to an event or was around other Muslim women for some reason with Salah, somebody said something to her. And this is, this, this is what led to this conversation, I believe, anyway. She's very offended. Like, she's very actually... Yeah, somebody, <laughs> somebody made her very insecure. But beyond that, there's a lot to learn about it, you know, and that's what I'm doing after, after the fact. So um, I'm just saying, you know, Muslim community, just think about that with reverts, how it can be overwhelming. And, you know, we have a right to our own journey, our own beliefs. We don't ha owe anything to anybody. We have the right to believe what we want. And still smug about it, too. Nonetheless, still smug as ever. Worship how we want. Show it how we want. 
And if you're doing something that you think is better than another Muslim, good for you. Um, you know, I would say just keep that to yourself. And that's between you and Allah. And, you know, it's Ooh. not like I'm doing And she's telling whoever told her or had a talk with Salah about her. Because I don't think they, they may have not said it directly to her. But I feel like they said it to Salah and he relayed the info. Oh, gosh. And that can make things even worse when they tell the man and the man relays it from other women. Oh, <laughs> I feel like that's what happened, though. Mm hmm. Doing anything super immoral or bad. And um, yeah, it's it's Islam is about a relationship between you and, and Allah. That's it. Not not about, you know, judging other Muslims, you know, so. Yeah, that's just my thought on the whole community, how it can be a bit judgmental sometimes compared to what I'm used to. And uh, there's some rules that I have a hard time with, I have to say. Um, I know they're in place for um, our own good. So, you know, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I bet she was, I bet she might have been at that get together she talked about. She ate with the wrong hand. Um, she probably didn't pray when she was supposed to or or do what she was supposed to do. She didn't help in the kitchen with the women. Um, I'm sure there were things. She wore a tight abaya because she, she spoke about tight clothing. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think this is about. I, I think that Sala mm, approached her with, you know, what the other women probably said about her or... Or maybe the women approached the other men and the men approached him and then he approached her. Nonetheless, she does look upset about it, but she's also still very, um, I don't know, smug at the same time. Very smug about it. So... I don't know. So, you know, inshallah, someday I will get it. But there's some things that I still struggle with. And I think, um, you know, allow that patience, you know, just like Allah's patient with us. as we're Absolutely, so, mouse toes. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to say. Just talk about a religion. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm, okay. So there we have it. Foodie. <laughs> No, they don't like dog. They don't like ricotta barracuda. Hey, Thea Marie. Why can't you keep your mouth shut about it? Just makes it worse. Well, it is because they're going to watch it and then they're going to be offended by how she, how she came on and talked to them because it was rude. It was very rude. So, um, she didn't even say, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. But she said it so smug and basically without telling them to F off, she told them to F off. That she's going to do what she wants to do. And she's going to worship how she wants to worship. And they just need to deal with it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. Chantel knows, Chantel knows how to, um, <laughs> she has a way about her where she, she knows how to offend almost everybody. Yes. Pious Miriam. Maria, you said it, sister. I love the saying that says sometimes you have to go away to come home. Mm-hmm. So, I do think that Chantel will be returning to Canada. I absolutely do. I just don't know when. Um, I kind of feel like she's just going to do a border hop with this one, and then maybe in the next three months uh, return back to Canada. Because she has to leave, let's see, the first week in... Mm, she has to leave the first first week in April... Or before, I think by the third or fourth. 
So I do believe that she's going to do like a border hop situation type deal. And then maybe after that, she's going to come home. Her eyes look swollen. Maybe she's having some thyroid issues also. I don't mean everybody has swollen eyes with thyroid. Yeah. I don't know. It's speaking of thyroid issues, man. I am so oh, it's got me so tired and so sore. But I'm doing well on um I'm down 16 pounds so far. How are you all doing on your weight loss or weight gain or or just moving more? How's everybody doing? Hey, Delulu, hello. Do you think she will trust Sala to be there alone again? Um, well, that's why I don't think she's leaving this time right now. I don't think she's leaving, A, because she don't have money, and B, maybe she's not ready to leave Sala just yet. Thank you, everybody. Well, that's okay, Unicorn. You can get right back on if you want to. If you're ready to get back on, it's never too late. It's never too late to get back on. You've been in the hospital again, but you got sexy walking stick now. Ah, Well, I love that. Leopard print, ram. <laughs> Take that thing for a spin. Ooh, look at you, Chevy girl. Congratulations. Down 25 pounds. Whoop, whoop. You're looking at walking sticks at the present time. You've narrowed it down to six. Nice. I know. So one thing I tried to do when I'm hungry now, um, hey, Burgundy, if I'm hungry, I just make sure I eat something that's healthier, like protein. So instead of like snacky stuff, I just, and then I'm still eating carbs, but I cut down a lot. I cut down on my carbs quite a bit. Um, I usually have anywhere between 80 to 150 carbs a day. So usually, mostly it's 100. I Mostly it's 80 to 100. But there were a couple of days that I had a little extra. But I'm not like keto, so I'm just trying to do low carb. So what that means is that means like a piece of bread with one meal, maybe, um, a bowl of oatmeal, you know, nothing crazy. Like today I had a bowl of oatmeal with berries for breakfast. And then for lunch, I had turkey meatballs with broccoli and a piece of rye bread. So that's like what I do with carbs. I, I'm, I limit them very much so. <clears throat> and some meals, I don't have any carbs at all. Like that was just today. Like mostly my breakfast consists of usually a couple of like maybe two or three eggs and a piece of toast. And sometimes I include sausage, but not always. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what works. And so I'm not like completely like too strict because if I'm too strict, it's not good. But if I'm not strict enough, I'm not getting anywhere. So... I just had the instant today with some oat oat milk oat uh, with oat milk and um, then I put like frozen berries on top from like do you guys know what Swans is? 
I just got like a bag of frozen berries from Swans. They just changed their name to Yellow. I haven't done them lately because I'm trying to stay away from a lot of carbs. Like, but this morning I just was craving oatmeal. So I was like, let me have oatmeal. But it's okay, Linda. Just get back on tomorrow. Tomorrow is a new day. Gentle crone, tomorrow is a new day. Don't think of it as starting back over. Just think of it as just get getting back on. Um, one of my favorites is I like to make cheesy eggs. And I'll tell you what my product is that I like to buy. At Aldi, they have a, a Gouda um, shredded cheese. And they have... Um, a gear guerriere i always say it wrong shredded cheese and that stuff is good <laughs> it's good in eggs i take a serving of that shredded cheese and i put it in eggs and i sometimes i use ghee to cook my eggs and sometimes i just use like spray pam it just depends I'm also counting calories. So while I'm counting like my carb content, I'm counting calories too. And that helps. And I'm back in the gym twice a week. I'm just giving you guys ideas. Yes. There you go. Black magic woman. Yes. So if you mess up, cause, cause I'm the type of person who I have always self-sabotaged, but I'm trying to talk to myself different this time. Because um, when you mess up, self-sabotage, it's a real, it's like a real phenomenon. It's a real thing. It, it can really mentally mess you up when you say, well, I've, I've already gained five pounds, so let me just keep doing the damage here. Let me just have what I want because I've already done five. So now I'm going to, but then when you do that, Five turns into 10, 10 turns into 15, and you know how that goes. So you have to just tell yourself, and I keep having to tell myself as well, that I messed up, but it's okay. It's it's not the end of the world, and I'm just going to actually make your next meal healthy. I won't even say start the next day. I'll say start today, start now, because we, you know... There's so much, um, I know myself, there's so much negative things I tell myself about getting healthy and, and watching in general that I'm trying to break all of those. I'm trying to just talk to myself better and say, I'm going to do it. Nothing's going to stop me. And you have to kind of be gentle but stern with yourself at the same time. Yes, exactly, Black Magic Woman, yes. Yes, keep working hard and you'll see results, yes. And also, just know, like, if you're weighing yourself every day, the scale fluctuates. Do you know in the first few days I started, like, um... And I was doing really good, too. I gained four pounds the first the first few days. And do you think I wanted to give up right then and, like, have some, have, a, have something sweet or something? I'm like, uh, I've been doing this for, like, four days now, following all the rules. And I gained four pounds? What the heck? And I said something worse than that. <laughs> what the hell? You know, because when you're doing good and you just start out, you expect to drop weight. And that just wasn't the case with me because I have like Hashimoto's going on and I have like perimenopause going on. And so realize us as women especially have a lot of hormonal changes and especially in our late 30s to up late thirties and up. And if you've had a hysterectomy early on, then you're part of that crowd. So hormonal issues can really mess you up. 
So I said to myself, I said, Sarah Jane, you are not. I repeat, you are not going to give up. You're going to keep going because you're, even if you don't lose weight, you're eating healthier and you're starting to feel better. And I, and I pushed on, but I'm not going to say it was easy. Oh boy, it was not. Um, and I pushed on and look at me now. Um, what is it about a little over two weeks later, I'm down 16 pounds. So But the first few days, I was gaining weight and I was doing the right thing. And that was, that was a mental mind F, if you will. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I seen that, Patty. I seen that. Yes. So... We have a lot of things going on, and especially as we age as women um, with our hormones. So it's, it's hard. It's hard. But don't give up. Don't give up. And the scale, the, the scale tells the truth, yes. But it depends on what's going on with us that day. So... You may have been doing good, but you may also have a fluctuation from just hormonal. Keep going. Keep going. The scale isn't the only thing that tells us what's going on. And I would advise, like, you you can tell from clothes. You can tell from measuring yourself. You can have non-scale victories. So there's more than one way to tell that you're losing and getting healthy. Yes, I agree. Go buy your clothes. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely mushy. And congratulations on that, by the way. Sticking with it, losing is hard, but maintenance is even harder. Mm -hmm. Maintenance can be just as hard. So con congratulations to all of you. And when I say maintenance... Gaining is part of maintenance. Five pounds here or a 10 pound up, up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10. As long as you maintain within, you know, a few pounds, you're doing pretty damn good. You're doing pretty damn good. So you're never going to be the same weight every single day. You may be, but there's going to be days you still fluctuate. So <clears throat> absolutely. Yes. Yes. So we're all gonna, Oh, you bought a juicer. Nice. Last year you gained a lot of weight. Oh yeah. And it feels good. It feels good. Like once you realize you come to that like moment of realization where you know you need to do something and it's like do or die moment. It's like, and for some people it is a do or die moment, literally. And it feels good to start and to start to feel healthy. And it, and it almost like for me, it becomes more than the scale. It becomes more than the number on the scale lately. It's just now how I feel. And I'm starting to feel better. And I'm imagining myself with every pound loss feeling better and better and better. And that is what really keeps me going. So I wish that for all of you. I wish... If there's something you want to accomplish health-wise, even if it's not weight loss, I I wish and hope that that can be true for you as well. Mm-hmm. You also want to play with your friend last year. You also want went to a play with your friend last year. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. I would be the type, too, that would probably laugh at myself, ain't she sweet? But later I would go home and be like, damn, you need to do something, you know? Yeah. It does make you feel good when you achieve a goal. I'm not going to lie. Like, when the numbers go down on the scale, it's a real good feeling. But I, I personally also have to be careful. I have to be careful with the numbers on the scale because they I can get into my head with that. Um, so that's why there's other ways we can tell. And I try not to weigh myself a lot. And I'm not going to. Um, Sleepy Charlie is the channel to kick yourself. Oh, okay. Thank you for sharing. I've never heard of them, but I'll check them out. Yes, just do your best, and your best is all you got. But you know, if you're doing your best, then there's nothing... There's nothing anybody can tell you. If you know in your heart you're doing your best, that's all that matters. Mm hmm. Hey, Irene K. Hello. Welcome in. You know what? I'm super proud of you all in here. This is awesome and so wholesome. A group of people all coming together to talk about the effort they put into themselves. That's real self-care. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. And I am proud of you all. I am. I am. It's a proud moment when we can share the positivity here. Look. Hey, I even want to see Chantel lose. I'm not going to lie. Like... I would be interested if she just put it all down today and said, you know what, guys? I've been, I've been wrong. I've been, you know, I've been going through these past few years and, and if she, but she would have to be like completely sincere about it. <laughs> Which, I know, I'm not being naive about it. I'm just saying. It would be nice if she, like, just took all the responsibility for her actions, turned around, and said, I'm going to do this. And, like, just watched an actual real weight loss journey from a girl. Okay? That would be amazing. Is it going to happen? Hmm... I don't have high hopes, but if it did, that would be amazing. Um, she needs to do it. There's no other choice right now. Oh, man. Yeah, that's rough. That is rough. I got you, Black Magic. Um, Chantel is. I was telling Dr. Phil the other day. I forget what we were talking about, but I compared Chantel. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Eight Mile with Eminem? And I forget why I brought up this up, but Chantel's like Cheddar Bob. She just keeps shooting herself in the foot. You know how Cheddar Bob shot himself in the leg? Chant Chantel's a cheddar bob. She keeps shooting herself in the foot. Despite everybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, you were in Scotland and Ireland a week each. And wow, nice. So I have a goal. And my goal is to travel Europe once I lose all my weight and I'm also I have a savings that I'm starting I, I already started it but yeah I would love to travel parts of Europe if I could and I'll be doing research on how to do that 
cost effectively as well because I know there are ways you can do it cost effectively. Yes, Girl World Travel Vlog. Hopefully coming in the next, well, three and a half years. Yes. And I already have my passport, which I got last year, and it's good for, I think, 10 years, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll be all set. I have my passport. I'm ready to go. That would be nice, Jay. I would love that, too. Yep, I want to go to um, Italy and Greece. And I would even love to go to Spain, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I want to go all over Ireland. Um, yes. I would love it so much, but I, I need to get in shape. I'm being realistic. I need to get in shape, and I'm giving myself three years to do it. Three years. Hey, I am Dee Dee. Hello. Thank you, Marie. Paris, yes. Am I Irish? I am part Irish. My grandmothers were Irish. So I am part Irish. That's why I want to end up going to... I would love to go to Ireland just to see it. The beautiful green Ireland. Did you love Greece? Ain't she sweet? Maybe you can give me some pointers on where to go. Yes, wants to go to Japan. That's cool. Spain is one of your favorite holidays. Cool. I hope so, too. Thank you. I hope so. I'm going to say I will go somewhere. I don't know if I'll make it to every single place I want to go to, but I can tell you this. I will at least make it to one. How about that? So... That being said, it would probably be Greece that over, and then if I was able to, I'd make it to Ireland and Spain. But Greece is my number one right now. I don't know. It speaks to me right now. <laughs> Absolutely, Black Magic. Absolutely. Okay. You've been watching a couple Rosebud. Ooh, Mexico City would be cool too, ain't she sweet? There's places in Mexico I'd like to go. There's place there's well, that's so I mean, even Puerto Rico. I would not mind visiting Puerto Rico. Well, welcome Black Magic. I hope you like it here. We're happy to have you. You want to see the Coliseums? Yes. Fly London. Boat to Ireland. Then sheep flights. Sheep flights to Greece. Okay. Fly London. Boat to Ireland. Then sheep flights to Greece. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Um, we have a great chat here. I really like it a lot. There are some places in Mexico that I do want to visit. Mm -hmm. I just, I also want to go where I can sit. My, my first, my first vacation might just be the hot springs in the U.S. I'm just going to be honest. It, it'll be a short vacay, but it's my bucket list that I want to go visit hot springs it doesn't matter where they are to me. It's just that I want to go sit in the hot springs. Um, so that might be my first vacay. Maybe in a couple of years, it'll be like a pre-game, a pre-gamer. <laughs> and then after that, 
I'll be going, maybe traveling the world a bit. Yes. Yes, I would love that, Susie Q. I would absolutely love that. <laughs> if you guys love the chat, give me a big thumbs up and I'll appreciate it so much. Thank you. You have hot springs here. Yes. Where? Well, I don't want you to say where you are if you don't want to, but I do know that there's hot springs in several places. And it just sounds so lovely to sit in the hot springs. It really does. So therapeutic. That's what I'm looking for when I'm on vacation is I want, I want self-care. I want therapeutic. And I want interesting, you know. Everybody get a car, yeah. <laughs> you get a car. And you get a car. And you get a car. If I ever won the lottery, I would probably be like Oprah. I'm not going to lie. I would. That would be fun to be like Oprah. Oh. Cassa. Well... Doe Eye Cookie could probably tell us about that. I'm sure they're not everywhere, though. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, Burgundy Bunny. That's what this is all about. I actually came on here just to chill, to be honest with you. I said I was going to review Chantel's video or vlog from the other day, but... You'd love to go to the hot springs in Iceland? Ooh. Oh, that'd be amazing, though, Krista. That'd be gorgeous. That would be gorgeous. Cass Island, Greece. Beautiful. Hot sulfur water. Drive off or dive off into the cool, then watch the sunset. With fresh caught fish cooked at sunset. Now that sounds nice, Jay. Yes. Oh, I would love, you know, a girl's travel. That'd be amazing. Oh, really, Maria? Okay, so you like Scotland butter? Okay, well, I am rooting you on to do so. <laughs> Every bird, insect, and animal is after you in Aussie? Well... Doe-Eyed Doe lives in Australia. She could probably tell us where to go, what to do, what to see. Oh, that would be nice to visit Australia someday, too, as well. You love how scared of Australia everyone is. It's actually safe here. Okay. See the buff kangaroos? They want to fight ev with everyone. Now, I heard about the spiders, but, you know, I also heard that some of that spider stuff is like, yes, they do have spiders. But I heard that some of those pictures were photoshopped to look scarier. <clears throat> They drive a car. <laughs> well, I... Uh, I know. I'm sorry you lost your hubby, Maria. 
the spiders jump. Yikes. Now, I would probably freak out if a spider jumped on me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but that being said, like, I think sp most spiders only attack if they feel like, you know, they're put in a position. You lived in South Australia for years. We'd get huntsmen's the size of our hands, but they aren't aggressive. That's what I heard, Lock Dog. That's what I did hear. I've been to Florida, Junto Crown. I've been to Florida two times. I've been to um Miami, I've been to Fort Lauderdale, I've been to, no, I've been there three times, no, twice. I've been to Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Bradenton, um, Orlando, what else? A couple of other cities, because the first time I went, we drove around everywhere. I really like Fort Lauderdale. It's like a chill little town, little city. I do. I think Fort Lauderdale probably was one of my favorite because it's like laid back. Like Miami, South Beach, it's like very, um, very uppity, <laughs> very uh, fashion, very... You must, you must carry the Gucci or I don't know. You know, you guys know what I mean. Like, uh, hugs to Maria. I'm not saying everybody in Miami is like that, but, um, it's very, 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 like, some people in Miami South Beach are, like, very ritzy, if you will. Yeah. You've never been to Florida? I like Florida. I like, uh, also, there's... Uh, Dustin is supposed to be real nice. Yes. Hey, when my dad lost my mom, I've told my dad, it's okay, go out and date, you know. Meet somebody, have fun, like, get a get somebody to do something with. It doesn't have to be serious. But easier said than done because while I'm telling him he needs to date, I don't date at all. But and but I'm actually like not unhappy about it. I'm not. Like it's by choice right now and has been for a long time. Um I have a sense of peace with myself and I don't feel like I need somebody else to complete me, if that makes sense. But I'm also not resistant to it. If it happens, it happens. But online dating scares the heck out of me, so it's not something that I do. Oh, with Maria... There's somebody that's already... Okay. Well, it looks like Maria's going to find love again. Woo, woo. And I do love some love. I do. I love other people's love. I love to see people happy. Me too, yes. That's kind of... Eh, some things scare me off. Hello, Quirky.
you're glad you're retired so you can spend time with the new kitties? Well, that's a good thing to do. That is a great thing to do. Hey, Fatty the Fed. Nice. Nice, nice. All right. Well, you're looking to rescue another after saying no more. The last two went. Ah, I'm sorry, Maria. Cats do make life better. So do dogs. Dogs, absolutely. Dogs and cats. Dogs and cats. I don't know. I don't know what I'd be without my doggy. I really don't. Yes. But I hate to cut I hate to cut out, but I'm going to have to go you guys. I I'm going to go let Luna out and I'm going to go relax cuz I'm still kind of tired tonight. Hey Jason X, welcome in everybody. I'm sorry I have to cut it short tonight. I'm just tired. I wasn't going to come on, but I wanted to. I've been on for an hour. You guys just didn't come till now. Me too, Fatty to Fed. Me too. Yes, have a great night, everybody. Stay safe wherever you are. Make sure you hit that thumbs up on your way out. And... Stay skinny in the dark. Good night, everybody. Sweet dreams.